good evening and once again welcome to my youtube channel uh Mad with is and in this video i want us to go through the topic of logarithm topic number three on form two kcse and i want to distinguish between index notation and logarithmic notation and i want us to be very keen here we know that 10 raised to the power 2 is 100. And this is the index notation. Simply because it's 10 raised to the power 2, this is the index, is equals to 100. How do we write this in um, logarithmic notation? How do we write this in logarithmic notation? My approach is very simple. I am because I call it the anti-clockwise movement. And I say, I start here log to base 10 of 100 is equals to 2. And how to write this in index notation is log to base 10 of 100 is equals to 2. It doesn't just work with 10, it works with all numbers. For example, if we, have, we know that 2 cubed is equals to 8, again, apply the same the anti-clockwise movement log to base 2 of 8 is equals to 3. And that's how it is. The, the logarithmic notation is log to base 2 of 8 is equals to 3. And after this, um, um, we now want to get the logarithms of some very basic numbers. For example, um, I would want to talk about what is log to base 10 of 500. For us to get log to base 10 of 500, please note that uh, natural logarithms are given to base 10, either in the calculator or in the tables. So what we need to do, we need to have the number itself, we need to write it in standard form, and then we need to have its logarithm. And of course, its operation, if we need to operate, we need to do some operations. The number itself is 500. In standard form, this is 5.00 times 10 squared. And the logarithm is this now becomes the characteristic. The characteristic is the power of 10. And the mantissa is to be read from the table. So what is the logarithm of 5? It's 0 0.6989. So the logarithm of 500 is 2. 0.6989 and that is the log of 500. Let us <clears throat> um, use the logarithm to, to talk about what is uh, 3.14 squared using logarithm. What is 3.14 squared using logarithm? So the number is, um, this is the same as 3.14 times 3.14. And all we need to do is to have the number 3.14, of course, squared, which is 3.14 times 10 raised to power 1, everything squared. And what we need to do is to get the log of 3.14, which is 0 point, because... Uh, times 10 raised to power 0, 10, 10 is raised to power 0 because 10 raised to power 0 is 1. Um, uh, the logarithm of 3.14 directly, the log of 3.14 gives us 0 0.4969, so 0 0.4969. And because it's supposed to be squared, we multiply this by 2, which gives us, um, which gives us 0 0.9938. That is not the end of the story. We need now to know what is the antilog. What is the antilog of 0 0.9938? Of course, you can see the characteristic is 0. That means 10 raised to the power 0 
whatever number we are going to have is going to be multiplied by 10 raised to power 0. So the antilog uh, shift uh, antilog of the answer is going to be 9.8596. 9.85 times 10 raised to power 0. Um, times 10 raised to power 0, and that is 9.8596, and times 1, which is basically 9.8596, and that is the end of the story. So, uh, that is it. Um, we now need to go to the next question. The next question is, Use logarithm to evaluate the cube root of 407.6. And again, as we know, um, again, as we know, we have to have the number, we have to have the log. Okay, the number here is 407.6. Of course, we are going to look for the cube root. And because we are now uh, aware of how we should write it in standard form. Now, the standard form here, here is, of course, 4.076 times 10 raised to power 2. So the characteristic, the characteristic there is 2. And then we get the logarithm of um, the log of 4.076, which is 0 0.6102. 61002, so 6102. Of course, this is supposed to be multiplied by a third or to be divided by 3. And this one is going to be divided by 3. We are going to have 0 0.2034. 0 point, um, when we, uh, when we, divide, we divide this by, no, not, not, not that way. So 2.6102 divided by 3, we have 0 0.87, 0 0.8, 0 0.87, 0 0.87, 0 0.87, It is now this one, we have to find it anti-logarithm. Of course, times 10 raised to power 0, that is the characteristic, and the shift log of 0 0.8701, and we find 7.414. 7.414 times 10 raised to power 0, which is the same as 7. And the final answer is 7.414. And that is it. And the next one <clears throat> is um, we now need to get the square root of the square root of 0 0.945 this is the same as saying 0 0.945 raised to power half and of course we have to have the number we okay we can have the number here let's have the standard form there and let's have the logarithm there the number itself is 0. 945, which can be written as, of course, raised to power half, 9.45 times 10 raised to power minus 1 raised to power a half. And the logarithm, the characteristic is this negative 1 point, or bar 1, it's called bar 1 point. Then we get to the, uh, let's get to, the log of log of 
9.45, which is 9.754. So bar 1.9754. 9754. This is the one that has to be multiplied by a half. And I want us to be attentive here. Now that we are dealing with an, a negative characteristic, it is not possible to divide the whole number by 2 simply because we cannot mix negative numbers and positive numbers in a single operation. So we would want now to separate the characteristic uh, from the mantissa and kind of operate them differently. So what will we do? We, on the characteristic side, we subtract 1, which we add into the, from this side or unto this side, we subtract 1. And unto the mantissa side, we add 1. And that is very, very practical because minus 1 plus 1, it looks like we have not changed anything because we are subtracting 1 and we are adding it immediately. Subtracting 1 from negative 1 is bar 2 plus 1.9754. It is now easy to divide everything by 2. And the reason why we had to rewrite this one in terms of bar 2 is so that we can be able to divide by 2. So divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. So we have bar 1 plus 0. Point. Of course, um, 1.9754 divided by 2, we have 0. 0.9 eight seven seven and when we combine both of them we get bar one point nine eight seven seven it gives us now bar one point nine eight seven seven and now that we have finished our operations we now need to get the antilog of that to get the final submission and I want us to be very careful this bar 1, it means if we write that number into standard form, it is going to be times 10 raised to the power negative 1. And the antilog of 0 0.98 shift log um, uh, shift log of 0 0.9877 is 9.7207. It's 9.72. Um, let's just say 1 times 10 raised to power negative 1. This 10 raised to power negative 1 dictates that when we are writing this number, um, having applied this one, the decimal point will have to shift to the left one step. So the final submission is going to be 0 0.9721. And that is simply what... Uh, uh, it's the root of 0 0.945. All right.